We're here. Hi, the dogs are here. Michelle's over there. Waffles. Okay. And the ultimate pet parents. <laughs> Hi, where are we going today, huh? Huh? We're going on a trail run. Well, walk, not run. It's gonna be a five kilometer walk. Um, an hour and a half drive away from the city. We're gonna spend time with friends and have fun. All right, come on, let's go get your breakfast first. So we're finally on our way. Oh, I'm having allergies right now. I'm gonna drink my antihistamine later. It's because when the weather changes like this, I usually get cold, but um, I'm pretty sure this is just morning allergies because I shaved their paws. And since we're gonna be going to the trails, I'm not sure if it's wet and muddy. So I just wanted to make sure that there will be as little, you know, uh, mud, or soil that'll get stuck to their paws and so I don't want to spend too much time cleaning up their paws so I made sure to like make sure it's extra extra clean <laughs> to lessen the chances of it sticking <laughs> so those are little things that you know I've learned over time because when we go hiking since my dogs are very short so the clearance from the ground to their uh, bodies is definitely a lot smaller than when you have like a large breed where the stuff will only get stuck to their um, paws and stuff. But with uh, shorter dogs, their whole underside will be like super dirty if it's super muddy and you know, the, the, the grass is moist and stuff like that. I'm on my way right now to the house of Michelle and because we usually take one car. Um, it's usually her car because she has a large dog. I don't know how we're gonna be able to separate the girls with them. They haven't seen each other for like almost three years. The dogs at least. I've seen Michelle like a couple of months ago. We're almost there. I know it. It's sewer right Yeah, well it's too high. They don't usually... Oh, it's perfect! I, 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 settle down, settle down. Hey! Oh, no. wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. I brushed it. Where's Waffy? Waffy's in the back. There he is. There's Waffy. Waffy's fine with you. Huh? Hi. Oh, yeah. this... Hi. <laughs> Waffy. 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 Come on. Hi. <laughs> yeah. The dogs are here. Michelle's over there. Waffles. Okay. And the ultimate pet parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know the name of this okay. place. I don't know where we are. I have no clue. Okay, let's Summer! Mm -mm. Alright, go. So I'm pretty confident letting them loose like this. There. I feel like the last time we went here, the grass was much taller. Wow, he's really good with the girls. Hi, hi. Good girls. So I have good recall. That's why they're kind of off leash. <laughs> I have my leash just like on my hand. It looks terrible. Sorry, 
download ng aso ko. Si Bailey, very respectful yan. As in, look, uh, perfect yung feel ni Bailey. Yeah, yeah. This is why I like spending time with dog people because we understand each other's dog's issues. Are more like mannerisms, I guess. It sounds weird, but people can't understand it sometimes. Even if the first dog attacks, it could actually be the other dog who gave the bad signals first. Because, okay, I'm gonna show you. Bailey usually has issues with large breeds. But look at that tail. Where is it? That tail is a signal of calmness. Not, not exactly confidence because it should be up like that rat over there. But it's fine. So it's not the size. It's siguro the energy of the dog, no? Rather than size. And they're not... He doesn't... I don't know yeah. first time pa lang. I don't I mean no. Yeah. You don't have to be present by me. I'm just here to existing. Yep. <laughs> My dogs are the same. But they're more well this one at least. Bailey is more sensitive when it comes to like in your face kind of pets. <laughs> Breeding. You breed for the temperament, not just like how the dog looks or all those other standards. It's like everything all at the same time. Yeah. Yes, yes. Dogs? Yeah, because still be fine, but I feel like I can You're so funny. <laughs> Gugi, come on, come on, let's go. No, you're not, we're not gonna bail yet, sweetheart. Come on, let's go. Oh my God, I'm <laughs> Oh, he no, he was trying to bail out. Gugi, oh my goodness. Release! <laughs> We're done! Good job, baby, baby, baby! Oh, oh! Summer ouch? Summer ouch? I know. <laughs> I was ready for the run. If you would notice, I brought my crate. Oh, you did? Yeah. Because I'm ready na ako na pag madumi kami. We did 4.6. Oh, you got work. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Bottom line, there's nothing to worry about. Summer's fine. She just cracked one of her paw pads. It's not bleeding whatsoever. I think it was just strained because it was too dry. My error was I didn't put um, moisturizer on their paws before we did this because relative to Bailey, she has softer paws. So lesson learned, I will definitely moisturize her paws before doing this again. But bottom line, she's fine. Took her to the vet, she's fine. Uh, all we have to do is moisturize her paws. It's been three days, she's back to normal and running around the house as well. So the first aid kit that this crazy fur mama prepared was definitely very useful because all the other dogs actually had wounds, bleeding wounds, because of the pointy grass, because they just cut them off recently. And so if you guys are gonna do this, just make sure you have a first aid kit and be wary that it, this could happen. She's, she's dead. My dogs are officially dead. I shouldn't be doing this, but we're in the province. Oh my god, I was, I'm so tired also. Knocked out. <laughs> that was way better than our first one. Yeah. This one is still alive. The other one is okay. Tired too.